Hello, welcome to another video. Today I'll be showing you what I know about pixel math in Cyril. Uh, it's a very complicated tool, so I wouldn't suggest this for beginners, but if you're already an advanced or intermediate astrophotographer, it would be a fun thing to do to spice up your images. What is pixel math? Basically, an instance of pixel math contains a set of references to operand images. The operations that must be performed between them and some parameters to control how the image how the result image is generated. Is what PixInsight call uh, is a small explanation PixInsight uses um, to, to explain what pixel math is. Basically, pixel math uses formulas to adjust the set of images, for example, combining them by using uh, image A plus image B, which results in image C. The absolute basic Pixel math expressions are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. But these are the absolute basics, and there is so much more. For example, power laws and whatnot. I will link the documentation from PixInsight below, which can be uh, used completely interchangeably with Cyril. Uh, Cyril's pixel math. The data I'll be using for this image is 24 times 600 seconds HA and 10 times 600 seconds green channel uh, because i don't own an o3 uh, filter yet um, green is going to be my o3 so we'll be trying to create a hoo image first we gotta prepare our images we want to do a background extraction on the separate channels and also stretch them individually i have created a tutorial on my youtube channel already the mono processing tutorial um, in which I will, in which I show the background extraction and how you can stretch your images. Um, then we're gonna create a new sequence, register the images, and open the images in pixel math. Um, well, let's now go into Cyril. Inside of Cyril, you're gonna want a working directory set. Uh, I've already created one, the pixel math. Uh, the two files are, I have copied in there. The green first adjustments and the HA first adjustments. Uh, first we're going to want to create a sequence. So we're going to open up the two images. Add, and now they have loaded in and we can call them green HA. And then for example pixel map or something. It's important uh, to in the name say which one's first so green is here at the top and ha is second so green first ha second and then i use pixel math and click convert um, then we're going to register the images you can use different types um, either global star alignment or two or three star registration personally global star alignment would be the best but if this doesn't work for you, like it did, doesn't work for me this time, um, then I try and use the two or three star alignment. First I gotta go back. Then I will use the three star alignment, so I'll pick my stars. I would suggest picking rather big stars, not the tiny ones. Pick a second star, pick a third star, go register. This has successfully registered the images and aligned them. As you can see, the there are some black borders now. So we're going to want to crop the images so that we don't have any problems there. Um, so I'm going to go here. And you're gonna want your worst aligned image for this one. So for me, it's the HA because it has the the most black borders. Um, and the O3, which is it, the HA is aligned to the O3 or the green. So the green channel won't have any borders for me, but the HA does because it is aligned to the O3. See. HA or green and HA. 
So this is going to be the crop because I'm cropping out all of the black areas here and leaving as much of as of the rest of the the, the good stuff uh, I'm leaving. So I'm going to crop sequence, click apply. We have now cropped the image as you can see. looks good and now we can go into pixel map to open up both of these images we're gonna use both of these so we're gonna select cropped r the name click ok this is correct this is variable green or we can call it 03 but i'll call it green for now the second one is ha uh, you're gonna want to set your variables um, which will be used uh, in the pixel map um, as your expression. So basically, I'm going if I want to uh, add the two images together, it will be HA plus green, and then I can click apply, and it will create the scene basically from earlier. Um, as I am creating a RGB image and not a luminance layer. I will hit the use single RGB expression, I'll click off. So I have now access to the red, green and blue channel. And now we can start with experimenting. For example, the standard HAO expression would be HA in the red. And in the green, in the green and blue channel, you would use O3. If you click apply, this will create an image which looks something like this. Don't worry about the background, we can neutralize that in Photoshop or in, yeah, basically in Photoshop you can do your other edits. Um, but this, this is what HOO would look like. If you would change it up a bit, you could use a different expression, for example, uh, H a green here for, you can do times by a star, 0 0.7 for example, and, and then on the blue channel times 0 0.8 click apply and it would just it would give something else so you you can experiment with this or what i i did is i looked it up on the internet and then you can just look for hoo combination pixel map for example and you can get a a lot of different expressions for example the this one which which in my opinion looks really good the o3ha this one so you're going to copy it and then just paste it in your pixel map make sure the expressions are correct for the variables so i didn't call them o3 but i called them green so i'm going to change that back to green and personally i don't understand any of this I just know it looks good um, but you can you can experiment with this um, how, whatever you want to do with it um, but personally I would start with going to different pixel inside expressions that you can find on the internet for example uh, something like an SHO you have all sorts of combinations and I would just plug them into the pixel map of Cyril because they work interchangeably as I said from pixel inside um, and I would just see what it does and try and understand what each expression does and so you eventually are able to come up with your own uh, palettes well I wish you good luck with all of these uh, expressions and I hope you learned something from this video and I wish you good luck uh, with the pixel map and clear skies.